Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, an Apple released iOS 9 public beta. And I just wanted to show some of the things that were new in it. It's not really a major update. I'll just show you that I am running iOS 9.0 because some people might not actually believe it's actually 9.0 because there's really not that many uh, updates. <laughs> but let's see, let's first show how to get it. So I'll go to Safari. And here is where you go to beta.apple.com and enroll your device. You can scroll down, sign in with your account, and then download this profile. So beta.apple.com slash profile to download the configuration profile. And then all you have to do is just go into settings, check for an update, and you'll see the beta there to download and update your device. So let's talk about some of the things that are new. So there you see in the upper left hand corner, like whenever you use an app, well, uh, this happened to me on Twitter a lot, like you open Twitter. And another thing that I noticed, like if I try to tap on the notifications, it really doesn't work that well. I kind of have to like swipe on the notification button down there on the bottom or swipe on home for it to switch. And that's kind of annoying. So here's one thing, uh, like if you click on an, a link, let this open up, looks like a drug lord, they actually ca catch them, I don't know. Well this isn't a good example because it doesn't really take you away from Twitter. But like we saw there in the upper left, you have an option of getting back to where you had opened the app from, or it said go back to Safari, or if you open like a link in your mail, it'll give you an option in the upper left hand corner to go back to your mail. So that's kind of nice, not a groundbreaking feature by any means, but kind of cool. And you can access your iCloud storage as an iCloud drive, so that'll kind of work like a Dropbox. So if you use iCloud, you can have a little app there to store files and swap between your different devices, which is kind of nice. And they change the app, how you switch between apps, the multitasking. So it's kind of got a 3D looking view to it. And swipe up and close different things. So that's pretty cool. Um, Siri is supposed to be smarter and I'm not sure how I haven't really tested it out. Divide zero by zero. Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. Oh, Siri, you're so ruthless. Siri got no. <laughs> um... What else is new? Uh, they made some updates to Apple Maps, but who uses Apple Maps anyway? Google Maps is still going to be better. I think they added traffic and public transit or something to Apple Maps. I don't know. I rarely use Apple Maps. And Search has more suggestions. It's supposed to be more like Google now. Like if you have an appointment scheduled where you're supposed to be somewhere and it's getting close it'll like actually check how long it's going to take you to get to where you need to go and it'll give you like a reminder like google now google's had that for a while um that is the main updates i guess there's supposed to be an improvement for battery life power mode that you can put the phone in now which it hasn't had that before so just allow you to it, it'll Disabled background app refresh, automatic downloads, and some visual effects are reduced or disabled. So that can help if you're in general. Yeah, there's CarPlay. Uh, I didn't notice that before. I'm not sure if it was in previous ones, but that's supposed to be rolling out to a lot of new cars this year or next year. So they're getting ready for that. And that is the main things that I noticed. Not groundbreaking, but I mean, if you wanted to test out the new uh, new iOS, 
and just try out some of the new features. There are going to be some bugs. I've had the app crash. Like when I was reading news, scrolling down, just out of nowhere, just kind of the app just closed on me. So there's going to be bugs. Expect bugs. It's a beta, but it's free if you want to be on the cutting edge and have the you know, all the latest features then you could download it for free and test it out. But I would make sure you do a, a full backup so that if you do want to go back, you can downgrade to iOS 8 if you just, if you know, some app is conflicting with it and causing you problems, you can go back. But just make sure you got a full backup because then you'll just be able to restore it to it in no time and be up and running. So that's pretty much all I got. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And that's all I have for now. So talk to you later. Take it easy.